don't know how much you can tell me about Freedom Principle because you've never ridden him before. Uh, what do you know about him? Uh, not much. I um, obviously fam familiar after watching a couple of replays, previous performances, and I uh, actually met his trainer here yesterday. So he's he's been here for a few days, and the horse got acquainted over the track. He has good all weather form, which is a plus. Obviously. Uh, his steepest test so far but we're uh, granted the one hole and uh, I think uh, we've been making plenty of use of him anyway yeah have you had a chance to look at the PPs for the, the field and if yeah I mean it's it's pretty deep I mean we're, we're a long shot like I said at the beginning he's, he's probably won a few in there with good all weather forms so I think that's that looks solid against his name I, I like the post position because you know that distance around here sometimes it can get a little aggressive going into the first turn get a little rough so I think that will uh, keep us out of the rough so shards will run in the uh, animal kingdom he's coming off a four-month layoff but he had a very promising two-year-old career but he's surprisingly only just won his maiden uh, he was in some top tier races last year and he only got beaten a couple of lengths in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint. Lack of room and probably denied a clear run but I've spoken highly about him since he broke his maid in that colonial and he seems like a horse that has the attitude and the physical to uh, definitely move forward as a three-year-old. This was your first winner in Kentucky, correct? Yeah. yeah. And just your thoughts on having made that decision and how it's been? Yeah, I mean, it was a little slow uh, down in New Orleans last year. I just sort of chose to keep it closer to home um, and just start afresh. And I had a couple of trainers that you know I was riding for during the year that stable here at Turfway during the winter months, and it just sort of made, made sense for me to stick around. It's been fruitful so far, and uh, you know, hopefully, it can sort of transition into the summer. The money has definitely lured a lot of, you know, big names in trainers, owners, and jockeys. You know, Corey Lannery was 13 times leading rider at Churchill, and the kids there come from New York and Florida. It's like passing of the torch. But uh, the level of um, talent has definitely stepped up the past three years. And if anything, you know, uh, probably caught me off guard. A lot of us, you know, like we're probably just going through the motions a bit, and it's lucky uh, I'm not too old. So I've, I've managed to regroup and uh, I feel like my riding is exactly where I want it to be right now. I feel like mentally I'm in the right right spot. Like I say, it's, it's, it's all about learning how to, the bad days, isn't it? Getting over the bad days, because there's plenty of those. And you can't beat yourself up too much. Kentucky now, as we're just agreeing with, uh, that the level has definitely skyrocketed. You definitely need to have people to ride for. Um, it's definitely a main stage now, and its toughness is almost on par with New York and what California used to be. Ortiz is the latest to say he's going to come and yep. be on the Gaffion circuit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, he's another fantastic talent, brilliant, brilliant jockey. Look, it's nothing we're not familiar to, you know. It's just, you know, when we hit Keeneland and Churchill, I mean, we're just absolutely embedded in talent. So. Uh, you can either run from it or face it head on. I ask you about Epic Ride, who now will train right. to the Bluegrass. Yeah, I actually sat on him this morning. I did a 5.8, Swift 5.8 at uh, Keeneland. Got him acquainted over the surface. I mean, and all systems are go. I mean, worked a sharp 58, out, out three quarters, very strong. I'm not even worried about distance. I mean, you could say, oh, maybe well, I, brought, I brought it up, so I must be worried about it, but um, critics were saying, oh, he probably did stay the mile 16th uh, in the stake here. No, I, I really think that there isn't, there isn't an issue with uh, distance. I mean, he's by blame, so he's almost universal in that sense. Very happy with him moving forward, and I wouldn't pick anything else to ride in the race.